Today we will be talking about circle, specifically terms related to circles. But first, what is circle? So we basically define circle as a plane figure to where each point is equidistant to a point called center. So this is what we do called circle, seeing that violet that. So that's what we do called center. So every point present in the circle is equidistant to this point. Second thing, a circle's name is based on its center. So therefore, in this figure of ours, in this picture of ours, so we may call this as circle Z. Now, what are these terms related to circle? Let's have the first set. In terms of the line segments, so we do have three terminologies related to this one. Starting from first is called the chord. So what is a chord? A chord is a line segment whose endpoints are on the circle. So in this figure of ours, look in our figure. So this is what we do call a line segment. As you do see, the endpoints are on the circle. Another one. So this is also a line. This is also a chord, and also this one. Again, the endpoints of the lines that we've drawn are on the circle. So now, how do we name this one? So since a chord is a line segment, so we will be using the symbol for line segment. Thus, here we do have line segment AC, we do have line segment BE, and also line segment CD. Aside from chord, the next term, which is also under line segment, is called the diameter. And what is a diameter? The diameter is also a chord, but this time this is something that passes through the center. So from the first three chords that I have shown, one of those is a diameter at the same time because it managed to pass on our center. So and the, it is basically our line segment BE. So our line segment BE managed to pass or to intersect the center part of our circle. So that's why we consider it as a diameter. Third one is called the radius. So a radius is just only half of a diameter. So on this our line segment BE, getting half of it is what gives us a radius. So upon looking, so there it is. Our radius for this one is line segment BZ, or we may also have line segment ZE, or EZ. Aside from line segments, we do have so that also related to our circle, and we do have two. The first one is known as the second line, or second. So a second line is a line that intersects the circuit exactly two distinct points. So just like this one. So there are there were two points intersected by our line. So that's why this is called a line. This is called a second. There's another one. So naming this, since a second is a line, so we'll be using the symbol for line. So in this figure of ours, the second here are line BH and also line CF. So normally, the points that are being used are the last points visible on our line. Aside from second, so under second rather, we do have a couple of terminologies under this one. So first thing is the so-called the second segment. So when we say segment, it means just only part of. So a second segment is a line segment of a second line. In this case, our second segment are this one. So there's no arrowhead. Because it is just only a segment. Thus, our second segment here, so we will be using just only the symbol for line segment. So, line segment BH and also line segment CF. So, similar with second line, just only differs in terms of the sign. Because second segment is just only a segment. Under second segment, we do have two subcategories. The first one is the exterior second. So, it is a second segment that appears outside our circle. So thus, we do have here four pieces. So there it is. Line segment BA, line segment EF, line segment GH, and also line segment CD. So those are the four line uh, exterior second that is present in our figure. Next thing is the counterpart. So line segment that appears inside our circle, which is part of our second line, is called the interior second. And these are our line segment DE and also line segment AD. 
another type of line that is related to our circle that is important is the tangent line. So this is a line that intersects the circle at exactly one point. So this time, just only one point is being intersected by our line. So as what you saw on our drawing, so just only one point is being intersected. And also this one. Only one point on our circle has been intersected by our line. Then we name this, of course, since tangent line is also a line, so we use the symbol for line. So what we do have is line BS, that is a tangent line, and also line AN. So these are our tangent line present in our figure. So we do have a term under tangent called the point of tangency. Point of tangency is a point on the circle intersected by the tangent line. And where are those? So it is the point T and point X. So those are our point of tangency. Aside from lines, angles. We do have two. The first one is known as the central angle. A central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of the circle and legs are made up of radius. So here's an example of our central angle and also this one. So when we say vertex, it is the common point of the angle. So since our angle here managed to meet on the center of our circle, that's why they are called central angle. So vertex is the meeting point or the common point of our angle. So to name these angles that we do have on our figure, so we do have angle JZA, so which is this one. This is our angle JZA and angle BZD. So aside from those, we do also have other present angle on our figure. We can also have angle AZB, so which is here, angle AZB, and also angle JZD. So these are the four central angles present on our figure. Other type of angle related to our circle is the inscribed angle. So this time, this is an angle whose vertex is on the circle and legs are chords. So earlier, our vertex is on the center or at the center of our circle. This time, the vertex is on the circle and the legs this time are made up of chords. So example for that is just like this one. So this is what we do call an inscribed angle. So our vertex is on the circle, on the drawing of the circle or on the circumference. And the legs are made up of chords. So when we say chords, as what we had earlier, the end points are on the circle. So aside from that one, we also have this. So again, you are seeing that the vertex is on the circle. The meeting point of the angle is on the circle and not on the center. So we name this, uh, these angles as angle JDA and also angle MBN. Next, we also have arcs. So what are arcs? So we do have three kinds of arcs present on our circle. First thing is half of the circle, which is known as the semicircle. And semicircle do measures nine, 180 degrees. Since the entire circumference of every circle is all, always measures 360 degrees. Keep in mind that in order for us to name a semicircle, there should be the presence of a diameter. Diameter is a line segment that passes through the center or a chord that passes through the center. So we need it for us to determine what is the semicircle. So in this figure of ours, that is our semicircle, so half of the circle. So that's why it is needed for us to have the presence of the diameter because it is the one that determines where is the half of our circle. We cannot do approximation. And also the other one is called the semicircle. To name this, since semicircle is a type of arc, so we will be using the symbol for arc. And normally, a semicircle is being named using three letters. Thus, our semicircle for this figure are the arcs WXY, so which is the blue one, and also arc WVY, which is the green one. So these are the semicircles present on our figure now. Aside from semicircle, something which is called the minor arc. So if we do have here our semicircle here present, getting the half, so we know that this is the semicircle half of our circle, and we just simply get a piece from our semicircle, so we call it as a minor arc. Same as on this one, that green color. So it is also a minor arc since it is smaller than our semicircle. 
The blue one is also a minor art. So to name this again, we will be using the symbol for art. And a minor art is normally being named using two letters only. So here we do have art XV and also art UW. So not just only this colored part, we can also have other part which is art UX. So this one, this is also a minor art since it is smaller than half of a circle. We can also have art VY, this part is also a minor arc since it is smaller than a semicircle and also arc wy which is here which is also smaller than a semicircle uh, by the way the symbol for arc is a curved line so our symbol that we are using right now is a quite pointed so it should be curved yeah. because there's no available sign on our computer just to be reminded so, if minor arc is smaller than a semicircle, therefore something which is bigger than a major arc, larger than a semicircle. So, seeing on our figure the semicircle and drawing something that is bigger than it is called the major arc. So, that blue line that we do have, our blue color here, so as you do see, so it exceeds than our semicircle. So, that's why it is called major arc. And to name this, so a major arc is always named using three letters and we use the symbol for arc. So here we name it as arc WUY. We may also name this as WXY. So it is up to us which point we are going to use in between of W and Y, which are the endpoints of our arc. So these are the related terms to our circle. Understand? Thank you for watching. So please like and subscribe. Don't forget.